the uh, thinking about that million dollar home that you just lost in New Jersey or the two million dollar home that you built on that island out there and Mother Nature took it back. Do you ever think what you should be thinking about is those people who had way less than you that won't be able to rebuild because they don't have those big bank accounts. They don't have that money stashed away for a rainy day. I'm sitting here, I just got to watching the benefit for the uh, Sandy Hurricane Relief. I feel sorry for those people. I really do. But I want to know, what are they really thinking about? Are they thinking about that lady that was on TV screaming and hollering about people going to die because she had two 90-year-old people that lived in her house and there wasn't no way to get nobody into them? Are they thinking about that? Are they thinking about that Mercedes that didn't make it? That Maserati that's full of water and won't never run? That house that had priceless furniture in it on God's land? Are they thinking about those people who lived in underprivileged neighborhoods that will never be able to rebuild something they never owned? Are they thinking about that? That's what I that's what I want to ask them. What are you thinking about as you sit there crying and, and acting like that over land that you really don't own? That land belongs to God. And we take and claim it as ours. And that's why these storms, Mother Nature, come take them back. Because they don't belong to us. Just like this life that we live. It's not ours. It's a deal. It's a bargain. It's a space that we take up. But it's, but it's not ours. The only thing that God promises us is death. He don't promise us that big house. That fine car. Good schools. He don't promise that. But he, he hopes that, that we'll try to achieve it. And then as I sat there and I, I listened to that program. I wrote this piece right here. It's called, Where Have You Been? What Have You Seen? I understand what's going on. I understand the pain and the harm. I understand what it is to be in a struggle that seems horrible to you and me. But let's think of what you've seen. Think of where you've been. What you've gone through in your life. Was it always bright? Was your house large as could be? Living in a high class society? Who, those of you with money in the bank, living a life of power and rank? Right now, this time, the big wigs are giving their powerful dime. But you who can make it without Turn and reach for those who can't do without. Those who didn't have a backup plan. Reach back, rich people. Give the poor a hand. Don't be selfish about yourself. Someone else is suffering without a plan on their shelf. I want to see the poor and the cold without. To be pushed in front and helped out. They say when we claim God's water and God's beaches, He will take them back as He reaches. We as human beings have claimed most of God's land. We must remember we are just man. Even our place here isn't really our own. We only possess at that moment our homes. Nothing belongs to us. Yet we claim God's property so much. Think about it. All of God's land and grass so green. And remember where you've been and what you've seen. Thank you.